This is uh, Jacob Hamilton from uh, Foyen Groups of uh, Lawyers who hold uh, the pre-workshop as a legal introduction to the uh, conference contract negotiations with uh, turbine manufacturers. First question, for whom is uh, this pre-workshop pre made? Well, it's made for uh, people with a non-legal background, but uh, people that has experience in the, from the wind uh, power industry. For example, uh, people working with project implementation, uh, people negotiating commercial and technical matters. What would you learn from the course? Well, the idea is to give an overview of the main agreements, and the main concepts that will always um, be relevant in a turbine procurement. And uh, which, which contracts are made between the buyers and sellers? Well, in a typical procurement, I think you have at least four uh, types of contracts. You have a frame agreement, you have a turbine supply and installation agreement, you have a service agreement, and uh, in some cases you also have a support agreement. Which, which are the key issues in, uh, in the TSA? Well, I mean, all the key issues are, are the normal, the standard key issues in, in any construction contract. Uh, it's time quality and cost uh, and that's what most of the negotiations um, will, will deal with. Well from your experiences in uh, helping owners mainly to negotiate these contracts if you would choose uh, three specific issues within the TSA where would you recommend an owner to be more most persistent? I think it's very important to uh, to have a clear view on the testing uh, re regime, on the requirements relating to, to tests. For example, what does it take to um, uh, to be satisfied um, prior to to taking over the turbines? That's a very 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 important issue. Another important issue is to how to deal with uh, delays as a result of weather. Um, I mean, it's, it's not possible to install uh, the turbines uh, if there is too much wind. So there is this risk and uh, all these costs have to be dealt with uh, in the contract. Uh, and the third issue would be um, to, uh, to, integrate, uh, to integrate the TSA and the service agreement in, in a good way. Would it be interesting for someone working for a turbine manufacturer to join the course? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I try to um, to uh, to take different perspectives uh, on the issues that we we uh, that we uh, deal with during the day. Which are the three most important issues for a turbine manufacturer to focus on to be able to make uh, the the most efficient agreement together with the owner? I think it's. Uh, important to ask uh, a lot of questions to uh, clarify, uh, to help the owner clarify uh, the owner's requirements. This is necessary sometimes. I also th I think it's very important to, uh, to understand that the market has changed, so it's not possible today to, to come with um, uh, the, the standard supplier friendly contracts that were more common a few years uh, back. Uh, you you have uh, having rather high ranked or top management people here on your course what have you learned yourself from meeting these people i learn a lot i mean one thing is to know the legal issues the key legal issues but the practical implications uh, are always um, the, the the really important part to understand and you i mean every time you lecture for for really experienced people you you learn a lot